I want to tell you a little bit about this young man before he come up. Um, I've known him for quite a while. Actually, I think I've known him for like 15 or 16 years. And I've watched his growth. I've watched his transition. And when he, when he first got into the rap game, you know, he was hitting all the clubs and rapping with some local artists that were around him. He was really good out there. And then sickness hit his body. And while he was laying in the hospital room, he heard the Lord begin to speak to him. And he had a blood clot on his brain from a football injury. And he heard the Lord begin to speak to him. And God began to deal with him about changing guards. <laughs> that no longer will you rap about money, cars, and women, and all that other stuff. But I want you to rap about Jesus. And so he came to me and he said to me, he said, Pastor Jay, I was a youth pastor at the time. And I remember when he wrote his, his first rap, Christian rap. And I was having a youth explosion. And I got a little backlash because some people knew him from being out in the world. And they knew him from you know, being at the club and all of that stuff. So, you know, some people, you want to let him rap in your church? We sure are. Because without the mess, there will be no message. Right? And so, he came over and he, he did his rap song and he turned the young people out. I mean, we had a house full of young people. And they went up to him and they, they just loved on him and they told him thank you. And they had never heard rap, Christian rap music like he was doing it. And from that point on to this day, he's never did a worldly song again. He's never rapped to another club. And it will be because he made this change that God would bless him to be able to do his very first album, which is called what is it called, Jay? <coughs> Turn this mic on. Turn your bottom mic on. Turn your, hit your button on. Make sure. <laughs> Turn green. Is it green? Hold it. You gotta hold it. There you go. I hear it. What? What's your, What's the name of the album? Same new outlook. Same me new outlook. outlook. It's not right now, so if you don't got it, you can get it. You can definitely go get it. And you put it in your car and let your young people hear it. Let your kids hear it. And I promise you that it will change their life. So listen, I need you. And I know rap music ain't for everybody. And that's all right. That's okay. Because everybody have what they like. But his music is reaching the young people. So I don't want y'all to sit on my brother. I want, even if you don't, like my mama say, I don't have, I don't know what he be saying. That's okay. Long as you catch the chorus line. That, that's how it works, my head. Catch the hook of the song, and then you can act like you know the whole thing. You understand? And when you don't know what's, what, we, what we say, mama, when we don't know, water belly. <laughs> don't say water belly out loud. Just move your lips like, and it looks like you sang it right along with them. All right? So I need you to do me a favor. Put a smile on your face and put a hand clap in your hand. And give it up for none other than So Hard as Glory on. Joy Trusta! Turn down for why? And let me get all my men and stand to your feet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, you